Alright everyone, just want to show you a quick how-to video on replacing and changing your valve shims on a ZX-11. I'm working on a 96 ZX-11D model. Um, I put mine up on the center stand if you got one. Put it in gear, that way you can rotate the tire to rotate your camshafts up here at the top. Um, I started out with one of these complete valve shim kits uh, doesn't have everything in it you're gonna need I had to order some extras you can get them in five packs um, get them off eBay Amazon uh, so here's your valve clearances 0 0.18 to 0.23 mil on the exhaust and 0.13 to 0.18 mil on the intake um, I kind of start right in the middle of those um, and then I use the biggest feeler gauge on the high end of the clearance to see if it'll fit after I get done that then I know that I'm within spec um, so basically you know if your cam lobe is at the top facing upright position this cylinder on the intake side would be able to be checked um, pressure is completely off of these valves um, and then basically you're just gonna move your rocker arm it's on a spring put it forward locks up against the lip on the camshaft itself so it doesn't spring back this way and then And there's your valve valve shim exposed so I usually I what I was doing was using a magnet to get them out and then can't find my feeler gauges anywho uh, feeler gauge um, spring this back down push it down or up whichever ways no. and then it'll spring back into position and then feeler gauge the gap and that's it once you're done with that cylinder rotate the tire go on to the next basically what I did was I did all intakes first that way I had my feeler gauges set up the way I wanted to if you uh, with your with your hand going in and out with a with the with the uh, feeler gauge and then once I had all those set I switched to exhaust or vice versa it doesn't matter typically when you have one of your intake lobes high or one of your exhaust lobes high uh, you can check a lot of people will go here and then go here uh, and check both of those at the same time less rotation on the engine um, personally, I found it better besides switching back and forth uh, between feet and measurements was to just do all intake and then do all exhaust or vice versa. Um, but again, make sure that you stuff a rag down over here because these two cylinders, or excuse me, these four valves here are very close to the, you don't want to drop a valve or a valve shim down into this cavity here because you're going to be pulling her apart or playing heck getting them out. Uh, in here I went ahead and got some new um, spark plug tube seals uh, because they're they were pretty hard and I don't think they were sealing very well I also do have spark plugs out of all four cylinders to make it easier to rotate and I think I had put it into uh, I don't know third or fourth gear just to make it simple uh, and, and uh, but it's pretty much it hopeless helps somebody else